Okay, so it's January 7th, and uh, I'm having a strategy meeting with John from Flagler Homes and Condos, and basically um, what I'm doing, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this uh, recording so you can see what I'm seeing on my screen. Um, I, try, I did it yesterday where I was showing my screen, and with the recorder, it tended to, to sort of jack the... The, the results up and they couldn't see too well so so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through things uh, here I just went and um, I'm looking at your your ranking you've got some Google uh, it, you know, it looks like Google um, oh this is interesting and this and here's another thing too I'm going to hook you up on a um, a phrase alert and and, and basically our conversation today is going to be all about content and how to make certain pages and things like that. So so I'm going to put you on a phrase alert. And when you see something that, that you know, um, like you'll, uh, like, like there's, a, there's a thing that says coast properties for veterans, right? So, so you know, um, that is something that I would blog about. You know, say, hey, you know, there's a lot of great deals, and you take your your VA and da 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 and all that stuff. So, so sometimes, like when you see these things that are that you're about to get, you're going to be emailed uh, phrase alerts. Um, you want to then, you know, like like you like you have um, great content. Like right now, your content is actually going to um, to the uh, to specific pages, and that's what's what's good about. Uh, what I'm seeing, like an example, when when I do uh, coast properties, um, I see it going to uh, a page that you have for military veterans, which is great. So, so what you want to do then is is like um, like sort of jot down a master list of of things so that you can. Um, uh, excuse me, just one second. Um, Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, go. Okay, so so basically the thing is, is that um, you want to uh, keep like a master list of of pages that you've made, and then pages that that are people are using to uh, to find your site right now like retirement flagger beach you're actually going it actually takes them to where to retire flagger beach which is great uh and then there's others that um like here someone googled and and um got to your page you know uh, beach areas to see big bump in flood insurance you know so so it's stuff where you want to know how people are what phrases are using to get to your site um and then that way uh you know, you if you don't have a page that directly relates to what they put in, then you create it, and then what will happen is is that Google will index it. So the next time that person, or not that person, but next time a person Google's that phrase, they've got pure content. Because the the way to to convert people to use your site is to get them to a page with, of what they're asking for, and then and then you know that adds instant value, and then it'll get them to look around more than getting to something that doesn't make sense you know that that you know that so so basically the the thing is is that um, we want to we want to do it. a lot of people are searching um, right now my my uh, analysis is not um, is not showing the uh, what you call it uh, is not showing the actual all the phrases that that you're getting from Google just because there's a little glitch in their system in the past couple of days so so in so looking at that, that's that's the one. Looking at your at your traffic, um, it's it's that's what's happening. Um, we're gonna um, there is there is some things that um, that we need to do. I'm looking at the amount of traffic per uh, given time, and you and things have steadily increased, but we still need more visitors. There's not enough visitors coming to the site. So um, you know uh, this next thing that we're talking about. You know, um, getting getting resources in, and then um, and then we'll look at your your uh, what call it. We'll look at your um, your you know truly as Zillow and, and all that stuff in just a second. So so in in the uh, in the what I suggest uh, is to do the um, uh, the one that one site. Uh, if you go if you look at distinctive, no 
sorry. I'm, I'm having <laughs> one of those days. Uh, here we go. Yeah, Mainland Real Estateers. This is an old site that was very successful. The person that actually owned it died. And then we had, uh, we were trying to work something out with this person and didn't didn't work out. So, but they, we owned the site and, the, and what was great was this relocate section, you know, and, and resources section, you know, and the resources, they have, uh, you know, sub pages, mainline attractions, gardens, historical places, history, hospitals, you know, all those different things. And this is the kind of stuff that you want to have, you know, um, like points of interest, you know, types of points of interest, like, like restaurants and, and, you know, uh, you know, like, diff you know, di different places, different categories of things that, that, um, that, you know, you can put things in and, and we're, we're going to have, you know, um, you know, like, like, like in this, if we go to main, uh, mainline attractions, they have, you know, the, the, the link to the site and the address and the contact information, you know, that, that's the kind of stuff that, that we want to have on a bunch of, uh, different categories. And, and that's, that's what I'm going to make a video on it. And I'll send it to you and say, okay, here's, here's the things that I see that, um, you should have, you know, uh, as far as categories and then anything that you come up with that you're like, well, you know, here we have this then share that with me so I can share it to, with other, you know, uh, beach areas or Florida, you know, whatever's related to the, to where you, to the state and then the type of lifestyle that you're offering that's not in your area, you know, I'll be, you know, showing it to others. So, so I'll send you this, uh, you know, uh, as well. So now let's look at your, um, your Trulia and uh, Zillow, Zillow.com. Before we move, before we move over there, uh, one of the things that you had done with Mainline at one point was you got all that veteran video stuff in there. Uh huh. And I wanted to see what we could do to get that so that I could link to all that stuff. Sure. Just just email me the stuff specifically the stuff that you okay. like. And then we'll uh, we'll look at um, at getting that, you know, in 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 your uh, sphere, in your in your you know, like on your website, uh, on your um, you know, in your uh, YouTube and stuff like that. Okay, great. Okay, so so now let's go to. Do you know what your profile name is in uh, on Zillow? Let's say like a flagler. Oh wait a minute, hold Maybe. on a second. You know, let, let me check something real. Uh, Flagler, um, let me just go to your website because that's another thing we need to need to make sure is that your your social media tags are are on the front page, and they are okay. But but we're missing uh, Trulia and Zillow, so we need to make a, uh, a thing to do that. So uh, so we'll we'll make sure we get that. On, on oh it's right here what an idiot look at me I'm I'm, I'm looking at the uh, the buttons up top and I'm totally missing that the, the cool uh, you know uh, what we call it um, let's go to Facebook, Facebook. Zillow Trulia yeah but we got it we don't have Zillow and that's I wonder why I wonder why okay so so Trulia okay on Trulia um, we need to um, get like we need to put in more of your social media stuff, uh, where it says "Find Me Online," um, and then we need to put in more service areas. Sometimes when you on service areas, some people say, "Well, you know, I'm I'm just in Flagler Beach," but people don't find Flagler Beach first. They on their in their discovery phrases, they use other phrases. So, so even though, like you know, you may say, "Well, I don't want to get business from this other place," you want to put it in so that way you get. Um, the, what, what I call coattail traffic, you know, um, in in you know uh, San Diego, people will, will will search for La Jolla real estate. They find out that it's way too expensive and it's not really the lifestyle they want. So then they go to Del Mar or they go to a sub area. People may go to is it Palm Coast? Is that where you're? Right. Yeah. People may Google Palm Coast and realize they really should want to live in Flagler Beach. So in the service area, let's let me look at the map here, and um, and we'll get an idea as far as what um, what I suggest. Uh, let's go flag other beach. Oops, I gotta learn how to spell beach, Florida. Okay, so now I got the map, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit until the. Okay, so Palm Coast, Ormond Beach, 
Those are two coattail phrases that people um, will search for Ormond Beach and Palm Coast and not search Flagler first. So, so in the in your, you know, uh, on your website and on and your social media, like your your you know uh, Truly and Zillow, when they says service areas, you want to add those two uh, to it because they will, you know. And I'm sure it's happened to you. I'm sure people say, yeah, we were looking in Palm Coast, but then we found Flagler Beach and fell in love with it. You know, that's the... Yeah, you know, another another good one may be St. Augustine. Sure, right. So so with that in mind, um, you know, uh, as you watch this video, you want to take, take notes and say, okay, I've got to add these to, you know, the thing. Oh, and I also want to say that um, we're on a on a different program than the, the, the other thing. So I'm... You, you know, you and I have worked something out that that um, you're going to be doing more of the implementation implementation of some of the things. I'm going to have my workers do things when we can, but this is a special uh, contract that you and I have that's outside the norm. So, so, when, so, so in case that. in case someone you know listens to this or watches this in the future, they're like, well, why is he making them do all this stuff when you know da 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 da? So it's it's because you and I have a special uh, special contract based on some things that that happened between us. So. So, so that so when you look at the video, you want to, you know, Palm Coast, Saint Augustine, you know, Ormby Beach, and and you know, uh, yeah, Saint Augustine. Okay, I see that. And then Daytona Beach, that's a good one too. You know, because it's, you know, people are are, you know, it, it looks it, Saint Augustine looks farther away than Daytona, so I would add Daytona as well. If Saint Augustine's a good one, then Daytona is a good one too, and you want to. You want to uh, have that, and there's nothing wrong with it, you know, because if for some reason someone says, "Hey, you know, uh, there's two things that are going to happen. I want a two hundred thousand dollar house in in St. Augustine, and that's where we want to live." You can always refer it to somebody, and then and then you know get a, a referral fee, and then and then if they ever get someone for Flagler, you reciprocate. Or right. if someone says, "Hey, yeah, um, we have cash, and um, and we." Uh, you know, we we're, we want to buy this three million dollar home. Uh, you know, you'll go there, wouldn't you? You know, so <laughs> so you know, those are two scenarios that uh, that that be. <coughs> um, excuse me, just one second. Let me. Uh... Okay, so so we're back. Okay, so so that's that's the one thing I'd say with the profile. Um, the other thing is, is that I would um, I would do more voices activity. You know, answer some more questions. Right. You know, um, and that's – I was explaining this to um, a couple guys, a father and son team yesterday. Um, it's sort of like um, whenever there's a lull in your life, like you're waiting for a client or you're waiting for uh, your wife or you're waiting for something and, it just, and you've got your smartphone with you, um, you should, uh, you know – uh, look for questions um, and answer them when you can. Post something, you know, on Facebook, or or take a short video wherever you're at, or a photo wherever you're at, and and upload it to to you know uh, YouTube or Facebook, and and that's the thing. And and so, you know, and, and they were like, well, you know, how many should we do a week, and how many da 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 da? You know what? Um, just get one push up done. Just do one until you can do two you know the next week until you get up to you know uh being on one of those app commercials just one at a time just just do that and that's what i'd say you know um you should you know try and and think about whenever you're you know waiting and you're just you know contemplating things all of a sudden oh well what you know is there anything i could check and see you know on um on uh truly and zillow uh because um it's really this year will be um, you know, those that answer questions and become problem solvers uh, will get more more business than than ever, uh, because that's that's how things are are coming out on the internet. So, so as far as your your Zillow profile, you know, um, looks good. You've got you got the basics here, so that that's good. And then you just need to add your social media links and then service areas and answer some questions. And then uh, you know that. that that should and now and we talked about how to answer questions before. So you want to you know um, you know basically if you can get some get some you know then then you'll um, you know you'll you should be in a good um, you know uh, in a good place if you answer questions on a regular basis within 
Like if you could do like one a week or a few, uh, two a week, you know, within a month's time, the phone's going to ring. And and that's just, uh, of course, the questions have to be like we talked about in the past. They it can't be well. What's the what's the taxes on this property? It has to be you know. Well, we're thinking about you know Daytona Beach or Flagler Beach. Why you know what's the big deal about Flagler Beach that you can then you know. Be, be like you have been in your videos. And, and, and another thing too, with Trulia, you're able to reference uh, URLs. So but the other thing is when you're answering questions on Trulia, if it's about Flagler Beach, you know, oceanfront or waterfront property or water view property, you know, um, link it to content on your site or a video that you made that that, that discusses that. Because that two things happen, the, the traffic that, that People, they'll click on, they get value from the question that you answered, and then they get value from the website. It gets them to search on your website more. Um, so, so that's that's the, the one thing with, um, with you know, answering questions. You can, uh, and then the other thing too, let's say someone has a good question and it's about a specific topic and you have so much to say. Well, what you may want to do is create a blog post on your website and then go and answer the question on Trulia and reference the page you know uh, as as a reference URL so so if they're talking about um, you know uh, new home construction you know uh, you know uh, beach property or whatever you make a new home construction beach property page and talk about it include your video that you made that, that awesome video that you made with the, the people that that you helped go through building their own home and then go answer that question. Um, the question's not gonna go away, it doesn't matter who answers first. And frankly, if other people answer, and then you have your you have the, the, the uh, ace in your sleeve with the video and all that other stuff, um, you make the content and it's really powerful, and then you go and answer the question. After seeing everyone else's answers, you can incorporate a little bit of everyone's and say, well, everyone's got some great answers, but here's what I think, and it, knocks everyone out of the water and then it sends a link to a page that's just you know value packed that's uh, it, you, you can't do it all the time but when you can you want to do that because in that way you'll get um you'll get the uh the kind of uh traffic uh that because it's all about it's it's all about value when someone goes to the web and they search google and and they get they search the phrase and it takes them to a page that sucks uh you, it just drops their 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 interest in going further by seventy five percent. But if they but if they go to you know uh, searching and they find uh, you know a great topic and they find some great answers and then they find your answer, which is you're not trying to sell them, you're not telling them contact me. Here's my number. Here's my here's my Skype. Here's my Skype in the bathtub. You know, it's just you're just answering questions, being the ambassador to the area. And then it, that adds value. Then when they when they go to a page that that appears because they because they're not going to check the dates, they're going to go wow this person was already talking about this topic, and then then they go to the video or they go to other you know like a Facebook post or something else that you have in that in that page, it's just adding a lot more value and and you get them in a position before they even meet you, of of uh, 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 of being more. Um, permeable to your thoughts and advice and that's that's the flow that that you want to create by you know answering questions and then possibly when it's appropriate to, to having content built before you answer the question and reference back to that and all that good stuff so so that's something that, okay, to let, think me ask, about. let me ask you a question along that line sure uh, you know, I've gone through the flag of beach questions I mean they all suck I mean there's, a, you know, there's very very few that are you know are 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 things that make any sense? How can I get questions in there to give me the ability to add real good content to them? Well, um, there's always there's always things where if you have people that you know, they can ask the question. You know, uh, like if you have fellow agents or or you know, we can put uh, questions in for you. But but <laughs> let's say let's say that you're in the mood, you're there, and you wanna you wanna do you wanna do something like you wanna you know like. You, like all of a sudden it's like okay I'm ready to to, to blog you know or, or sorry, I'm ready to answer questions well sometimes the best thing to do is to um, get uh, a blog going do a blog there and talk about you know 
you know, I get this answered a lot. I don't see it a lot. I don't see this question on, on Trulia. But, you know, a lot of people ask me about this. Or you say, hey, okay. this is something that's coming up in my market that no no one's really, you know, covering. And that's this. And you make the title of the blog the same as, uh, as the, you know, as the main point. Because that will show up uh, as well. You'll get you'll get traffic, so so the, basically that's the thing. But but worst case scenario is you know um, you can contact us. We'll we'll put you know um, questions in for you. There's nothing wrong with that. We've actually talked to uh, Zillow about it, and they're cool with it. Um, and it's a thing where you know because uh, because the questions they're not slanted towards you. They're they're for everybody to answer. So if you have right. stuff like that, submit it, and you know we'll go from there. Okay, so now okay. I'm, I'm looking at your Zillow profile, and we got to do a few things. Um, past sales, um, you need to log into your Zillow account and and get all your past uh, sales, uh, you know, um, and, and and have that put in because that that helps with, you know, uh, getting listings and then other people that that are looking for um, property that maybe there's a there's a uh, a property on a street that that has had a lot of sales recently, and that was one that you had. Then, um, then you can do that and and uh, and get you know some people to contact you. Um, the other thing is, is in your Zillow profile, you don't have your your um, video. You know the video that that, that, that you've done. We need to yep. we need to put that in um, when you log into your profile. There's a there's a, a bunch of things like uh, your website URL, your you know. Um, your uh, YouTube, your LinkedIn, and and then there's a, a YouTube video URL, and then you want to put that in because that shows up on the bottom right hand side of, of your uh, profile. So uh, and then um, yeah, so and then you've got your description in, so that's good. You know, basically, um, you know, that's the that's the thing. And then um, let me look at the profile for a second, so I. C- I'm gonna. I'm already logged into a someone's account, so let me just see. Um, uh, yep, yep. So the so the profile video, um, and then reviews. Um, Got to work on those. Uh, as far as you know, if you get a, get at least three of them, and then um, then you should be, you know, that, that helps with uh, a few things when you're answering questions. Um, it shows your your you know uh, rev- how many people have reviewed you um, when you uh, when people go you know uh, when, when when you do have properties you do have listings um, you you'll show up better because it shows you as a listing agent if you have three reviews it just looks better because a lot of people have zero so that's a big thing um, that, and that that's uh, that's that now on to um, the the video has anyone called in for testimonials for you? Like they no, call that I, talked number? To, I, I talked to a good friend of mine the other day about uh, about doing a testimonial for me. He said, "Write it, I'll do it." Okay. All right. So. Uh, yeah. So how long is script? Maybe about fifteen seconds is all we need. Fifteen seconds. That's, 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 not, yeah. that's not a lot of time. It, 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 if you give them the eight hundred number, they will yeah. they will say enough. It has a two minute limit, and it is. I mean, basically, they they uh, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that that basically it, it will they will take care of it. It's, they, they they'll they'll talk. You you just got to get them to to call, and that's the okay. that's the big thing. So, you know, Give me the 800 number again. 800-591-8716. And did you see that video that I did for uh, Shelly Broward? No, let me go back. Is, oh, yes, that was the one with the uh, uh, referrals in it. Yep. Yes. I mean, yes. how how cool is that? When, oh, it's great. When, yeah, and so... So if you could get that, and we put that on your website, on your Zillow profile, uh, we you know you post it on Facebook, you know once every couple months, um, it's just a thing where uh, where you know it really helps. Now the other one 
is the one that I, I sent to everybody about um, getting me the uh, the listing. You know, um, uh, you know, I just took this listing. Let's see how fast I can get it on Facebook, and I can I can you know market your home in ways others don't. Um, that's something that uh, if you can get your um, if you can get your previous sales into Zillow and send me like here's all my previous sales, then then what we can do is is take a um, you know uh, get a video done. Yours would be different because right now you don't have any listings. Or do you have listings or no? No, I really don't. Okay, so so basically, do, does your broker have any listings? Uh, I think Lynn picked up one. She said she was going to pick one up a couple of weeks ago. She hasn't confirmed that to me. Okay. And, uh, but I'll, I'll check with her this weekend because she's about ready to put her house on the market. Too. Well, the thing is, is that, it, you know, it could be a previous <laughs> property that you had, you know, because um, yeah. we could take a photo of it and then, and then have you like, you know, um, there's a thing called green screen or, or where, where we can, or, or we have you in, a, in an office setting, or, or not an office setting, but like a nice setting, and then we put the photo of the property to the side of you, and then you could say, you know, um, this is a property that, that I listed and sold, and one of the things that, that I can do is I can get your, uh, I can get the listing on the first page of Google uh, within, you know, hours. That's just one thing, you know, like I'll send you a special script for not having a, a listing at the moment. If if this if your broker has a listing, then what you can do is we can take it, put it through the machine, get it ranked on Google, and then having it uh, you know, uh, dialed in and then and then you can use that as your as your leverage. And then when you are talking to people about about um, you know, uh, the market, you know, uh, and, and listing their home, you'll then be able to show them ways that you're you know, you're able to list or, or market their property that others don't. And that's something that right. I'd like you to, to work on. We'll put it, we'll, you give me the raw video of all the things that I need. We'll put it into professional format. And then basically, you know, um, th I'd like to, I'd like to have that in your arsenal for this year because it might pick up, you know, maybe two or three listings this year. And in, in your market, you know, that's, that's, you know, 30 grand. You know, it's one that's of those right. things. So, so it's it's you know, and, and that's the thing, you know, it's it's a it's picking it's picking away at your success, you know, uh, or at the elements to your success, you know, um, when you can, and uh, and and you know, and and it's going to be a bunch of different things that you're going to pick to make it to where you're successful. So this is just th this will pick up a couple listings. Uh, this year, the other, some other things that we're going to do, like answering the questions and getting that, that's going to pick up a couple listings uh, and, and and a few sales. So you know, um, it could be to where you know you by the end of the year, you you've got you know uh, a lot of little honey pots that you're getting you know uh, you're getting business from. Good. Okay, so now let's look at your Facebook um, and see how that's going. And I've got some a new technique that um, that I am playing around. Flagler Homes and Condos. Um, okay, so let's do. Also, I'm going to Google this just to see how that's how that's going. Uh, let's go to. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to go to Google. Okay, Flagler. Okay, so your your website is there. Oh yeah, we talked about um, um, we have to get some pages in the back as far as okay. Uh, um, we need to get like you know Flagler Homes and Condos slash real estate Flagler Homes and Condos slash you know Flagler Beach you know stuff like that and I'll and I'll I'll draw up like a like a schematic of the pages that we need to do and then. And then all you need to do is just make those pages and then just talk a little bit about it. You need at least like three paragraphs of, of stuff. You don't need to what okay. they, you don't need to do what they call keyword stuffing. Don't don't have it full of the word Flagler Beach. You know, just just talk in a conversational style and and do that. Okay, so now let's look at let's look at your Facebook. Um, okay, so 
That's good. Um, reviews, we don't have any reviews, so we got to, that's the thing, you, you know, I'd say, you know, this week, um, try and get uh, people to call the 800 number, and then, and then try to have them do reviews, you know, uh, on, on uh, Zillow, and basically, you know, some, some people don't like, um, don't like to, like, well, I don't want to sign up and get, you know, get crap, you know, like, I don't want to be hounded by Zillow. If that's the case, then um, what we can do is just make, uh, you know, uh, email accounts just for them for this purpose. You know, like like whatever. You know, uh, Jim and Jim and Joe Smith one forty seven at gmail dot com. You know what I mean? And then then they they just they use the username and password to log into Zillow to do the review. But whatever email goes, whatever junk mail happens there. They're never gonna get it, you know what I mean? So, so that's something that. Well, that, that's good because my brother-in-law, you know, told me he did it, you know, and it never showed up. So, I may just do it for him. That's great. Well, yeah, you got to be careful with that. I mean, uh, uh, because they, you know, um, you want to. What you want to do is is follow up with them and say, hey, uh, actually what you need to do is follow up with Zillow and say, hey, uh, this person said they did the review and it didn't show up. How come? Do that first. Don't, I would not recommend okay. doing it for them because um, uh, that, like, they they can, uh, if they find out about that, that can be a, a problem, you know, um, in the future. So I wouldn't recommend that. I, I don't see anything wrong with creating you know, uh, th what, what, basically a throwaway Gmail account, you know, it's like a throwaway cell phone, a throwaway Gmail account or a Yahoo account. You know, I don't see a problem with that, but, um, but you want to have them doing it back. Okay. So for Facebook, you know, um, you've, you've got, uh, you, you got some posts and, and it looks like you, you know, you did some posts here and there. Um, what I'm going to recommend is there's a, Facebook has a feature where you can time your posts you know, you can do one a week for the rest of the year. And and here's a couple of things. I did a video recently about this where um, what what we need to do is create pages uh, that go through um, that uh, like just listed and uh, just listed in, in the area. Um, and then uh, let's do this. Let me let me get a hold of IDX broker for a second and ask them uh, something. Because that way, uh... Thank you for calling IDS. Please leave your name, website address, and phone number after the tone. Your representative will contact you. To wow, they must, they must be really busy. Um, so the thing is, is that uh, if it's possible, I know with Diverse Solutions it's possible, but with IDX Broker, I have, I'll have to check and see. To see if there's a a um the ability to create pages that you would then um like, like an example uh open houses um just listed in in your area um price drop and and anything else that might be you know uh like like, like that we can have automated so let's pretend that you have just listed open houses and price drop pages on your website so so every two weeks, you would do a post on Facebook that would say, you know, hey, here's the new, um, here's the properties that just that uh, the, the latest properties that listed in the area, you know, uh, you know, uh, and you make like a like a uh, a comment number one, and then you put that link in, and then and then basically you uh, you have a um, uh, you know like that like the when they click on it, it'll take them to fresh data every time. But it, but it's the page, you know, Flagler Homes and Condos, uh, you know, slash, you know, um, just you know, Flagler Beach just listed, and then Flagler Beach open houses, Flagler Beach, you know, real estate price drops, those those three pages, that that content gets updated by IDX Broker on its own, so today, you know, well, you know, uh, virtual today, you know, whatever day you could um, pre-make these posts. And and have it, you know, every two weeks for, you know, every week for open houses, like on Friday, you know, Friday's open house Friday, uh, and then every two weeks just listed, and then every 
month, you know, uh, price drop, and you've got three. Let's see. Wait, let's look at that. So, so every week that's four. Every two weeks, open house that's two, and every month one. So that's that's seven posts that you have. That the only thing you have to do is you gotta you gotta change up the wording. You can't use the same wording the whole time. But you know you've got you know 84 posts on uh, that are automatically happening on your. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. A month. Yeah, 84 posts, and that's without you adding any local flavor. You see, you see that. You see what what that yeah. what that can do. So yeah. so let's so so now that we've talked about everything. Let's let's try and do like a game plan, like an, an action plan for the next three weeks, right? Okay. So, so the first thing I would do is um, I would get uh, I would get these pages, you know, um, just listed open houses and price drop, um, you know, pages made, right? Then uh, I would get the Facebook posts, you know, and you don't have to do them all now. But just do like the next two months, January and February, of uh, the just listed every two weeks, the open houses every Friday, and then price drop at the at the uh, end of the month. Okay, and you do that for January and February. Okay. Okay. So after that's done, then uh, work on your uh, Zillow profile, like we talked about, and your Truly a profile, and answer questions on both. You know, just one question each, and then and if you have like a juicy, you know, uh, thing, then you know, sorry, I I get programmers bugging me. Uh, so it's one of those things that, that that if you do those those things, then then that's good. Um, you want to uh, on your website, uh, you want to add um, your uh, the other social media buttons in that one spot, and. And then, um, and then you want to. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me step. Uh, you want to add the social media buttons, but let's take a step back. Uh, the first thing you want to do before anything else is call your uh, your people and get them to to rate you on Zillow and call the 800 number. That's the first thing because okay. that's going to take a little lead time before they actually happens. So that's the first thing you, you want to do. And then, and then if. If, if someone's like, oh, I don't want to get hassled, I don't want to f- make an account, you know, and you may even want to put that in your email. Hey, if you guys, you know, don't want to sign up for Zillow, I have something else I can do, uh, you know, da-da-da-da, uh, and then basically, you know, uh, that's, you know, th- that's when you would uh, put them on the list to make uh, email, throw away email accounts for them to use. Okay. Okay, so, so with that being said... Let's go back to now we're on your website. We've done all the things we talked about. We're now on your website, and you're putting the social media icons in, and then uh, and then now you're uh, you're adding the pages and a structure that I'm going to send you. You know, domain name slash, you know, uh, city. You know, all, all the different keyword phrases. You want to add that, those pages, add them, and put a little bit of blurb of, of content. You know, um, uh. In, in there until you can get back to and uh, them and write you know write stuff you know to, you know you know what I mean okay. so so that that's your game plan that what that's what you should have done by the end of the month all these things that we just talked about and if you do that Good. if you do that you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get uh, the phone's gonna be ringing by the first week of February and I want to and we want to talk about this too I want to I want it to where you know, uh, we we you know we, we're going to talk obviously before then, but uh, but you know, come the first week of February, I want to I want to say, okay, what's happened? Has you have you had any you know interest? Have you had this and that? And then um, and then we'll work on you know stuff for uh, for next month. You know, on the first week of February, we'll we'll look at what things you can do once these things are in. Sounds great. Okay. All right, sir. Well, that's it for now, and then I'll just uh, I'll render I'll get this rendered, and then I'll send you a link to it. Oh, oh thanks a million. Okay, buddy. See ya. Yeah, you have a good week. You too. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. okay. Bye.